All right, we're going to do a quick tutorial on the photo merge with Photoshop. As you can see, I just taken a few photos here in my front yard. Just kind of random photos. Just make sure to cover a good area of the front portion of the yard here. And we're going to go ahead and take this into Photoshop real fast. CS5. All right, now just go file. As soon as it opens up all the way, there you go. File, automate, and photo merge. <laughs> then from here, just select your files, browse the folder, which should already be up here for me. Just select all your folders here. Select all your files here. I mean, okay. And you can do geometric distortion, correction, blend images together, and there you go. It'll pretty much just load up all your files here and then combine them all together. It takes about, depending on your system, how many pictures you have, a couple minutes to maybe five or five minutes, depending. Once it loads up all the photos, it'll start crunching them together and finding all the common layers and whatnot. Uh, the picture when you finish it is going to be pretty big, so you can make sure you want to scale it down or at least crop it when you finish with it because it won't be exactly square or whatever. All right, so there we go. And there it is. Like I said before, it doesn't really come out you know perfect and all. You can see the colors all match up, but the important part, what I needed here was just the. Actually, we'll just this part here. So just kind of crop it a little bit to where you kind of want it. Actually, come down just a tad over here because we don't want all that anyway. And if I had done a little bit better job, you know, just kind of taking the photos, kind of survey what I want to do with the picture, I would have gotten a lot better of a panoramic surround on there but this is just, just a quick way just to show you how it works and all let's go ahead and crop it to the picture there and of course it's still this is at 13% right here so we can zoom into this picture here pretty far and you can see this is at 66% and you can see hardly any blips or images slight change in the driveway there it's like you just kind of missed a cut there but now we can go ahead and go layer. And flatten image. Makes it all one piece. And of course we can save this. Let's go ahead and save it over my other one here. Save this as a JPEG file. And of course I always want to do quality at 12. And we'll go ahead and save it as a PSD file. Alright, that is pretty much it right there. And you know, if you go to our photo merge folder here, we can see our. It looks like it messed up inside there, but I forgot to change the size now, but yeah, that's the picture right there. That's 60, 70, 100%. See, hardly any blips throughout the photo. And of course, if I took better pictures around the areas here, it would have been pretty perfect. There you go, hope that helps.